Welcome to Building Responsive Data Visualizations with D3 by Pact Publishing. My name is Meryl Cook. I've been a data journalist for several years, working on both static and interactive data visualizations, ranging from infographics to interactive maps to scrolling sites that tell a story with data. As someone who regularly assembles and publishes visual content, I've come to respect the immense importance of responsive design in data biz. And while there are a number of good D3 courses and tutorials online, a complaint I regularly see is that there aren't many resources that integrate D3 know-how into a responsive mindset. That's the idea for this course. Not one that simply focuses on making D3 visualizations, but rather on how D3 visualizations work in real-world contexts, where content management systems, a panoply of screen sizes, and regularly shifting datasets can get between your visualization and your site's viewers. I'm hoping my content experience will help to steer the course towards answering many of the most pertinent questions about not only making D3 visualizations, but deploying them on live and changing sites. Over the last few months, I've also been involved in the process of ramping up a new project called OnlineCourseReport.com, a site that seeks to provide resources and a searchable database for potential online learners. I'm especially grateful for the opportunity to dive into the creation of an online course at this time, and to see what really makes an online course work. But enough about me. Let's talk about the course. There are three central components that I hope to achieve in this course. First, seeing as it is a course on D3, is that students should be able to create a number of basic reusable D3 visualization types. While that's as far as most D3 courses go, we're going to take it a step farther. The second component includes a basic knowledge of responsive design, as well as Twitter bootstrap. Through a few examples, we'll proceed through many courses on responsive design cover. The third, and perhaps most important feature of the course, revolves around applying our knowledge of responsive design to our D3 visualization. What do you need to render at what screen size? Where should you place data visualizations on a page? Does functionality change for different screen sizes? And then how do you implement those choices? We'll start with a section on basic non-interactive reusable charts. This will help ground us in the syntax and workflow essential for all D3 visualizations. In the second section, we'll upgrade our initial visualizations by utilizing scales, axes, tooltips, and labels, elements essential for polished-looking charts. In the third section, we'll move on to the basics of responsive design and look at what mobile-first strategy entails, as well as making previous examples responsive. The fourth section will enable us to massively increase the range of possible visualizations we can make by tackling external data sources. We'll work with CSV, JSON, and GeoJSON to eventually render a map. Section 5 throws in some interactivity into the mix and lays the groundwork for more responsive visualizations through introducing the notion of rendering and re-rendering visualizations depending on browser events. We'll build off of sections 4 and 5 and 6 and 7, where we'll construct a choropleth map of the U.S. and then make it responsive, learning how to utilize a number of quality tools in responsive design. Before we continue, I should note that for viewers to get the most possible out of the following videos, they should at very least understand the syntax and have some practical knowledge of HTML, CSS, JavaScript, and jQuery. If you don't feel up to snuff on one of those topics, there are a number of great tutorials online that can give you enough of an understanding to proceed with this course. I feel that this course is ideal for designers with some front-end knowledge who are looking to expand their toolset for front-end developers who are looking to get into data visualization, back-end developers who are looking to bridge the gap between databases and visualization, or anyone involved with online content with some front-end knowledge, such as editors, content producers, personal bloggers, or marketers. If you're interested in learning to build a wide variety of D3 charts, layout types, and maps in the context of learning responsive design, this is just the course for you. See you in the next video.